when is the best time to take your dog to the beach to avoid other people, other dogs, other things that could potentially get in the way of your beach walk? I love to take my dogs early in the mornings before people are awake, before people get up, especially if you are traveling somewhere and you're staying at a hotel, people don't get up early. They like to sleep in while they're on vacation. And so you're going to find there's a lot less people out on the beach, a lot less things going on, a lot less traffic, foot traffic, all those things. When you go out early, you might see some joggers, you might see one or two other dogs, but for the most part, you're going to have the beach pretty much to yourself. Now, it's also important to know that if you're going out early, you are going when the sand is cooler. It's not going to burn your feet. It's not going to burn your dog's feet. It might be a little cold depending on the time of year, but making sure that you are going out when it is safest for your dog is incredibly important. And when it starts to get later in the day, late morning, early afternoon, later in the afternoon, that sand's going to be hot. There's going to be a lot of people out because now they've woken up. Now they're doing things. Now they've gone out and done things and they're coming back and relaxing at the beach. So going earlier in the day is incredibly incredibly helpful. And you might think, well, later at night, the sand will be cooler, but there's still going to be a lot of people out. There tends to be a lot of nightlife and people walking on the beach in the dark or walking out on the boardwalk. There's a lot of traffic by the roads. And so while you'll have the people who are local based who came in just for the day gone, you're still going to have a lot of traffic and a lot of things going on later in the day. So waking up early, going out as the sun is rising gives you beautiful photos, which we've talked about before. I've shown you how to do it here on the channel, but it also gives you freedom. It gives you access to a lot of different things and you just have to be mindful of what's going on early in the morning. So if the tide's a little bit different or if it's just a little bit cold out, you might want to be mindful of that as well. And it's also really valuable to go during the off seasons. We've talked about this a lot here on the channel during the high season when it's very, very crowded. There are some beaches that will not allow dogs on at all or past a certain time. So make sure as you're traveling, you check to make sure your dog is welcome on the beach and during what times, because during the summers when there's a lot of people, they just don't want dogs there because it's a dangerous situation to put your dogs in with all those crowds of people around you. So you want to make sure that you are going early in the day and early in the season or later in the season so that if you're planning a trip, you are getting the most freedom and accessibility and availability for your time on the beach with your dog. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to that. And then if you're staying for more than one day, test out different times. You can get up a little earlier. You can go out a little bit later. Be mindful of these things. If you're going to be there for a little bit, or if it's somewhere you go to fairly frequently, pay attention to the traffic levels. You want to know when people are out and about so you can make good decisions for this. I like getting up because I like to create my content. I like to have the freedom and space to walk around. I like not running into other people because early in the morning, the people that are out are the, usually the joggers. It's the people who are working out who are not going to stop to interfere with you and your dog or get in the way. They're just going to be on their merry way as they're running down the beach. You're not going to have a lot of people out driving the roads. You're not going to have people who are local who are coming in for the day that early. And so you've got a lot more availability to do things if you are going earlier in the day. Drop your questions about traveling with your dogs, especially traveling to the beach with your dogs. We want to get those questions answered for you. We're beach family over here and we're a travel family. And so we've got lots of tips from your car rides to packing for your dog, to grooming tools that you need on your trips, to how to survive at the ocean and other locations. So drop the questions down below, check out the playlist, and we'll see you in the upcoming episodes as we continue to help you navigate the world of dog parenthood so that you can give your pup the best life possible. We'll see you then.